Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to Trendy Mommy. In this video, we're going to show you how incredibly easy it is to create a unique and custom collar for your fur baby. Ready to make your pet collars for your dog or cat? Here's what you'll need. Paracord, 550 diameter. Snap buckle, a D ring, a lighter, scissors, measuring tape, and paper tape. Before working on it, let's do some basic math. One foot of paracord is gonna convert into one inch of the collar. So once you have the measurement of your dog, you can start measuring the length of the paracord you'll need. For our fur baby, we'll use a 14 inches collar, making the paracord 14 feet long. Before cutting the cord, you'll have to subtract the length of the buckle. The one we're using is 1.5 inches. So, final paracord length is, you guessed it, 12.5 feet. That's not all. If you wanna do a bicolor collar like us, divide the length in half. Now, measure your paracord the way we instructed and cut it, like so. Take the lighter and melt the ends to keep them from unraveling. Then take one end of each color and join them together and melt again to create one hole, like so. Now, take the female end of the buckle and insert the cord through the hole with a lark's head knot. Click the card to go to our macrame tutorial to learn the basics of each knot displayed in this video. Then, pass the ends through the male of the buckle from the bottom up. Tape the buckle to the working surface and make sure that the distance between male and female parts of the buckle are equal to the size of the collar you want to make. For us, it's 14 inches. Now we can start braiding the collar. We're going to lock the cord in the buckle using a square knot, or also called cobra braid, and pull the knot up to the top like so. To complete the square knot, you need to do the same movement with the opposite cords. Repeat the square knot one more time. Then slip the D-ring over the bottom of the collar and pulling it up, like so, before continuing the square knot to the end of the leg. When you reach the last knot of the braid, pull it tightly and lock the ends under the last knot, like so. Cut the excess and use the lighter to secure them. And there you have it. You just made a sturdy pet collar. Be sure to check out our flea and bug repellent DIY for your pet as well. And for full instructions, check the link in the description box.
Thank you for watching to the end. As always, if you want more videos like this, like and subscribe to our channel. Bye.